It is Monday. Happy Monday. This weekend was a little crazy, Joe. A little bit, a little bit. Little you think bit. it was a little crazy? It was a little crazy. It was. I have not stayed up as late as I did on Friday. I think it was Friday night uh, in a very long time. I was up until like 1.30 hustling. Okay, we were all hustling at Tanner's new house. Joseph was there. We were all... Joseph, I don't know. What time did you leave? Which day? Friday night, but not that we... Uh, like 12.30? 12.30, yeah. A.M.? Yeah, A.M. Yeah, <laughs> right. So I think that Joseph whipped out right after we whipped out, oh. me and my husband. But it was like all hands on deck, getting mm -hmm. this, getting stuff done. I mean, I worked last night, you know? I mean, yeah. We, every get day. Done. Every day. Every day. But happy Monday, everybody. I hope that you all are doing well. Share with us what you're, where you're visiting from and what you're up to today. Um, we are going to iron on some flip-flops. We have done this video a couple of times. And it's like we get better every time we try. It's like we, you know, we tweak this, we tweak that. And then with spring rolling around and summer coming up, it's a great time to do this. So ask any questions that you have about this project. Um, the membership is still $20 off for Mother's Day. We're extending that little Mother's Day sale just in case anybody gets paid on Friday or this Monday and they're able to take advantage of that. And we weren't here, we were not able to be live with you all uh, over the weekend to like finish off that sale, so we're gonna give that to you for a couple more plus, days. Plus Tanner's still gone, so why Plus, plus Tanner's so still gone. Right, so while the time. cat's away, the mouse right. will play. Right, right Joe? There you go, yep. Right, so uh, that link is in the description below with the presents. Joseph can throw that in the um, comments if you all have any questions, concerns, prayer requests, anything like that. But uh, Joseph, who do we have visiting? Do we have any questions? We have all kinds of visitors today. All have... kinds. About 80 watching so far. Awesome. Um, hello from Florida. Hello from Nebraska. Good morning, Rachel and Joe. Um, well, good morning. Good morning. I wish that I was in Florida. Uh, one okay. commenter asked, I work on the new studio or the new house? The new house. That's a good question. So the new studio is actually being like, do you call it finished or remodeled? Both a little well, both. it's getting finished because there was nothing new to begin with. That's right. So it was like a uh, concrete walls, concrete floor, um, and just a couple of finished walls and things. So we're getting it um, finished down there, and we're actually not doing it. We have been plenty busy enough. We're oh, glad yeah. that jo uh, James, no, Tanner, Joseph James. I have too many James. We're glad that Tanner's Tanner. Not Tanner's not James. Tanner's name is Tanner. But I'm it's, going nuts. It's guys. early. It's well. Yeah. Joseph's trying to make me feel better saying <laughs> it's actually like <laughs> the, I mean, the early I mean, yeah. afternoon, right, right. but hey, um, we're glad that he got a professional team in there to do that because they are being snappy about it. Every time they leave me and Joseph go down there and so much has been mm -hmm. done, you know. Like they'll, they'll come over for like three hours and get like an entire wall that we're like, I know. Wow. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Excuse me. Woo. I've, I've never just sneezed once. But no, it's good and it's, yeah. it's getting done really, really quickly. And after that is when it's going to be go time, guys. That's when we are going to be um, packing up the studio, putting the studio in there. i got to sneeze again. Bless you. Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Um, and we're going to try not to be, like, down for uh, a day or two, uh, not being able to do live. So we hope to make it, like, a kind of a seamless transition from one set to another. But it will be a lot of hard work, but we're really excited to take it on. But that's a good question. So the house is basically done i mean pretty much it's pretty much done we are waiting guys guys I think last week one more one a.m night i think it'll be done one more one <laughs> well, guys we were waiting on our painters to be done tuesday of last week and they are not done okay they're like done but they haven't the, the cabinets in the kitchen and the drawers in the kitchen need to be installed they took them away and painted them so like the kitchen's kind of a wreck, but whenever that gets done, we will see some progress. I just hope that it gets done soon. But hey, everything that we are in charge of is basically done, which is awesome. We're super excited about it. But we're gonna iron on some flip flops today because I'm excited. And not only are we ironing on flip flops, but we're also using a new font with a monogram to iron on our flip-flops, okay? I absolutely love monograms. I love using monograms, especially in the summer. It's so, so cute. I absolutely love doing this project and taking pictures at the beach 
with these monogram flip-flops. I did that on my honeymoon and I absolutely love the photos. I just think they're so, so cute and so personal. And we're actually gonna use the heart monogram that is from Makers Gonna Learn. And if you don't know what that is, it is a digital die cutting community, perfect for people who own die cutting machines. So that could be Cricut Maker, Cricut Explorer Air, Explorer 2, Brother Scan and Cut, Silhouette Cameo, all kinds of stuff. You will absolutely love this membership. We have over a thousand cut files in our backed library and more are added every month. And for our awesome yearly members, they get access to our fonts, which we have almost 200 of, and more are added um, the same time, around the same time that the new cut files are added every month. And also our yearly members do get access to three free e-courses all about mastering the die cutting machine. And then our yearly members also get a free commercial license, meaning that you can sell what you make using our fonts and files in this membership. Our other tiers do not get that. So if you want to become a year member, if you want to build a business with your die cutting machine, which is one of the free e-courses we give you if you become a yearly member, then you can do so, make these, and then sell them, which is amazing. You make profit. But Joseph, do we have any questions? Um, Gomer asks, I'm trying to write on paper with the fonts. Why does it keep turning the writing into a stencil look? Does Makers Going to Learn have any writing fonts? So we have designed fonts right now to kind of, I mean, there are writing fonts if you want to look for some, like I know Quirky Court, it, you know, is there the very thin line uh, writing font? So you have to look for them hard, but we don't have any fonts right now that I know of that like go through there and then write it and then go fill it in. Because I know that's what you're talking about. You know, they kind of, it does look, it's like the outline of some of the fonts. So we don't have any of those uh, right now. If you go digging for some, you could. We don't have any official writing fonts, but we have some really thin, kind of dainty, quirky, little scripty fonts that you can totally do that with. But as of right now, you're just going to have to take that outline and then fill those in with the pens if you're using them to write or draw because we normally use our fonts um, with vinyl, you know, with iron-on and or printable vinyl, things like that. So if that's what you want to do, then go hunt for some, you know, go on a little scavenger hunt for some for some little writing fonts. But Joe, any other questions? I don't believe so. Well, ask them. Be sure to ask them. This is a great place to ask your questions, especially if you're talking about ironing on um, flip-flops. Now these flip-flops, as you probably can easily guess, are the 98 cent flip-flops from good old Walmart that you can find in the bin, okay? Every spring they have a ginormous bin full of all different sizes, colors, whatever of these awesome flip-flops. They have like a men's bin and a women's bin, which is, has like women and kids and everything all mixed in. You got to dig for the colors you want, find the ones you want, and my thing is, I buy a couple new pairs every year because, guys, they're 98 cents, okay? I wear them to the pool. I wear them to the beach, you know? No, like, you don't go hiking in these, okay? This would not be ideal for that because they are pretty cheap. And I have a terrible habit of popping this front toe one out. Joseph has never mm -hmm. worn flip-flops. He's a sandal dude, okay? Mm -hmm. He's a sandal type of guy. Um, my husband is too. But... I have a terrible habit of wearing these out and popping these out of my front toe. So I do buy a couple every year. And this is a great way to use your vinyl scraps. Use it on the heel here. Make your awesome monogram. And then it usually wears off by the time these things have broken anyways. It really ends up pairing really well together. Because as you know, iron-on is not particularly meant to go on things like this. But it does hold up really, really well. Holds up through the summer. Maybe at the very end of the summer, it starts peeling up just a little bit, and that's about when these th when these babies are trash. Okay, but this is a great opportunity to use your vinyl scraps. Use it on this. I'm sitting in a chair if you haven't already been able to tell. Um, but these are great. And again, if you guys are just starting out, you want to try some iron-on projects that you're not too sure about. Again, these are 98 cents. Okay, so if you ruin this, ruin a little bit of HTV not the end of the world you're throwing away like a dollar and something okay so no need to fret with that but joe anything kind of says she's prefer sandals too prefer sand yeah, yeah some people prefer yeah. sandals you know yeah. uh flip-flop sandals there's a debate yeah. i like my chacos so i have my chacos so i'm really used to pe like things being 
around my toe. But I really like that, like the knockoff Birkenstocks because I have no money for actual Birkenstocks. <laughs> so I like to get like the knockoff Birkenstocks. Those sandals are really, really cute. I do love those as well. Um, it really just depends on your personality, whether you like sandals, flip-flop stuff in your toes. My husband says he doesn't like the feeling of things in between his big toes, no. like his toes right there. No. So I get that. I get that, especially if you haven't worn them. But if you're used to him, you're used to him. But Joseph, do we have anything else? Um, Guadalupe asks, can you do a 3D effect on the flip-flops? Um, I don't know. That would most definitely be a Cricket Master Tanner question. I uh, I have never done a 3D in uh, HTV. That would be cool. If you have, then teach us. But hey, maybe just write that down on that little sticky note over there too. I don't, I don't know how I'd get that thing 3D. It seems really cool though, but we are using one of our fonts from Makers Gonna Learn, which you can get if you are a yearly member. Just was like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it is $20 off. It is still on sale. Guys, go get that. It is an amazing membership. If you have a die cutting machine, you will absolutely love it. Along with the cut files and fonts, we also have awesome printable guides like this Cricut printable guide that we're going to be using today to set our baby easy press our little Stella here I call her Stella and along with that you get access to an awesome Facebook group and so much guys you just get so much bang for your buck and those yearly members get the most you pay the least amount of money for the most amount of our resources which is awesome and you're thinking that's a little bit crazy it's because the yearly members pay uh, their membership in a one-time lump sum but if you want to go get a membership, it's $20 off using the code MAKE at checkout, M-A-K-E, and go get that discount, guys. But I'm very excited to use our beautiful heart monogram font. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you guys in design space how to download the font and then upload it. Now, I know that there's been some controversy over how people like downloading the new fonts on the site and things like that. But it is so, so simplified, especially with monogram fonts. Because uh, on our last site, and it was a good system. It wasn't like it was too flawed. But you did have to download three different fonts to uh, have one monogram, which is the same as this. But you only have to click the download button one time. And she downloads all three fonts to make that monogram, which is really, really neat. It's really cool. It saves time, saves energy. So... I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. I've already downloaded them. They're already on my iPad here. I'm just going to do this for demonstration reasons. But um, I thought that you guys would really like to uh, see how this happens. So excuse me. I've got paint on my hands and things. We have all been working. But we're going to go over here to the site. And we're just going to pretend like we're just on this page right here. Now we are signed in. Okay. So it's, it'll tell you to log out if you are not logged in. But if you want to go over here, we're just going to hit fonts. And once we are here, we're just going to search, okay? We're going to search monogram. So I'm just going to search monogram. And look at all these beautiful monograms we got. But we're, we're wanting to use this heart one over here, guys. So you can download this several different ways. You can download it from this button right here. Or you can tap on it, go to its own separate page. You can hit this download button. Or you can hit this download button. That's a lot of that's a lot of options, right, Joe? It is. It's plenty. Right. Plenty of options. If you if you don't know how to do this, I mean, we're we're laying it all out for you. Mm -hmm. So you can hit any of the buttons you want, um, and it'll take you here, and it will say open in any font. Now, if if you're trying to download a cut file or this or that, you're gonna click more, and you're gonna open that into iZip. But we do want any font today because we are working with our fonts. So we're just gonna tap open in any font. And it has it here for us. We just got to find it, okay? And since we've already downloaded it, downloaded it, excuse me, it, um, it might not even ask us to redo this. But I think it'll let us. So here, after you find them, um, it says heart monogram center, heart monogram left, and heart monogram right. Now, these are all for a reason. Now, you do have to install these fonts in here all separately. But you're just going to tap that. Tap to install, allow, and it pops up here. Then you're going to hit install. Then you're going to add in your passcode. <laughs> See, Joe, making, making I'm not sure. letting it happen making this sure. time. And then next, install, install. Done. 
boom, you're done. So after you do that three different times, you have to kill your Design Space app, okay? Then open Design Space back up because your um, iPad does not know that you've added a font until you kill it and reopen it so that it like, I don't know, gets the memory. I have no idea how that works, but it makes sense. So whenever you're looking for fonts that you do buy in the membership, you always want to be looking at system fonts. Not Cricut, all will be a lot to kind of digest and look through. System fonts is really easy and we're just going to look up heart, heart monogram. So here we are in the heart monogram. Now, did I do this step? Does everyone understand up to this point? Do we have any questions at all, Joseph? About this, no, but I do have a question. Okay. Um, one, one person asked, I have a question regarding the three months free. Okay. Do you get the three months free after the year or how does that work? So it's included. Like the, it's, uh, we have already deducted that whenever you choose your yearly membership. So it's three months free. So like the price that you would pay for three months is uh, free because you chose that yearly membership compared to any other membership. So once you go on there um, and you, you know, check out and you add in your um, account information, and your credit card information or your, go, go through your PayPal. It's already been deducted and you get your three months free. No questions asked no matter what, which is really, really cool. And if you want a $20 off of that, just um, use the code MAKE, M-A-K-E, at checkout. That's a good question though. We do get a lot of questions about that three months free. So right here's our little font that we're wanting. So we're gonna do the uh, center left and right, okay? So monogram, the center is always gonna be the last name. So we're going to choose, I don't know, uh, let's do K. I have no idea who this is going to be for. It's going to be <laughs> for somebody. Then we're going to go here, system. We're going to do left. We're going to do D, 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 D maybe. Yeah, D, D looks good. So then we're going to go over here, system fonts right and it, it already remembers that you tried to search the heart monogram so it kind of it kind of helps you out there as well so here's a little monogram and it, it turns out really really cute i absolutely love this one i i wish that i had picked prettier letters <laughs> i really wish that i'd picked prettier letters let me see let me try f let me see what f does oh that's cool that's really cool Ooh, i bet if i did Huh, let me see here. M, what does M do? Oh, wait, it added another one. Oh my goodness, I'm so dumb. <laughs> Elizabeth said, I just discovered the unicorn font. I had no idea it was listed in the fonts. Thank you, it is so cute. Oh my gosh, yes. We absolutely love that little unicorn font. It's adorable. It, um, we absolutely love that one along with our like dog font and our cat font. And um, maybe we'll have a bird font soon because I absolutely love birds. Um, if that's not a secret. But once you get this way you want it, now of course, just like every monogram, some people's names are not gonna be beautiful. Um, but I absolutely love this scallop monogram. We have a pretty monogram for the uh, winter. And this monogram, I think it's adorable, especially if you have letters that just kinda like flow. But like if you look at it from afar, it definitely um, looks like a heart. Like you can tell, that's no, supposed to be a heart. But we are going to just make one of these. I know I've got like, a blue option here and a white option here and I've got pink and black here so what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna put um, black here on the uh, the blue I think that would be really really cute so uh, we have this here now all we're gonna do is go here and I'm gonna size this up a little bit I think it might need to be sized up just a hair I don't want to get them too close together and I'm just gonna go to actions and I'm just gonna attach those guys just in case we don't want anything happening here so we're gonna size these, size our shoe wherever you want them. And I always like to put them like right here. And now Joe, do we have any questions or anything? Um, Denise asks, why is the D backwards? Which it, which it, it looks like it is. It does look like it is. I think it's just the heart though, it's curved like that. Oh yeah, cause the heart's curved. Uh -huh. Let me try D over here. Go to actions, detach. Oh, that's a good, good question. Let me see here. Yeah, let me try this one. Oh my gosh, I, I love this thing sometimes. <laughs> Let's try D for this one. Okay, so that, that definitely looks, that looks, looks better. better. Then let's switch and see what the R looks like over here. Oh, so okay, okay. Now we're, we're getting there. Okay, note to self. 
<laughs> that was weird. Okay, I'm liking this better. I'm like, see, like what happened with me, guys? I literally just pulled letters just from my mind. Probably not the best um, thing to do ever. And I get that that's supposed to be down there because it's a heart. You know, we, we see how it's supposed to be a heart. I think it's right. cute. I think it's real cute. Okay, something's up with this D though. We well, did like an I or an L or something in the middle. In the middle. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens with him. That's a good. Oh, see what happens if I do. Oh, that's cute. There you go. That looks better, don't it? See, Joe, <laughs> this is why I need you. It's just a little small. That way it's, it's more pointy and more heart-shaped. It's more pointy, more heart-shaped, for real. And it all depends no, it's on... Not, not that everyone gets to choose what their monogram is. Right. <laughs> see, we can't, <laughs> we can't just make up monograms, you know. Oh, they man. are our monograms, <laughs> but... You know, some people don't get lucky here, kind of like us, when we actually just choose this one. But, hey, that's cute. What do you think, Joe? I think it looks good. I think it looks cute. So, we're yeah. going to go to Actions, Attach, and we're going to thank you to whoever asked that. Denise. Denise. Thank you, Denise. Now, it looks like I, I want about two and a half here, and it's probably going to even it out to be, um, to be the same height all the way around. So, I just clicked Edit. We're going to do 2.5. And 2.5, 2.1, so that's totally fine. So 2.5 by 2.1 of the width. So that's, I think that's really cute. So what we're gonna do now, there's a couple ways you can do this. So we wanna duplicate this, of course, because we want it on two of our shoes. Now you can go ahead and click the uh, duplicate button if you wanna duplicate this, right like, right like that. Or you can go to make it, project copies two. And once you hit done, boom, it pops you up another one right there. So that's a couple ways that you can do this. But this is iron-on, and if we have any iron-on newbies in the house or any Cricut newbies, this stuff is costs a pretty penny because it comes with its own built-in transfer tape, which is super fancy. And because of that, we have to mirror this guy because we always have to put it on our matte shiny side down just like this, and then it cuts, and when we peel it up, then boom, it's flipped. So that's why we have to always mirror that, if that makes sense, I hope it does. So mirror is on. Joe says, do you have any questions up to this point? Is everybody doing good? Everybody's doing good. There's more people tuning in. Everybody's still saying hello. Well, hello everybody. I'm super excited to have you all here. We're ironing on flip flops. We're adding our monogram to them. We're ironing on them. It's gonna be cute. Our Cricut's thinking, it's thinking hard. And we're gonna set our material. And again, our blade is not the sharpest in the shed. So we're gonna make sure that after we set iron as our material, that we go over here and give it more pressure. And that is just right here. It says iron on pressure. It says default, if I can hit the right, there we go. Default, you can hit more and done. And then you have more pressure going, which is great. And now it just tells you to apply the iron down onto your mat, which I will do here. Just gonna apply this down as best I can. And I put it on backwards accidentally, but really the only difference between this whole mat is that this little opening is here. It's the same way if you insert it this way or insert it this way. It's, it's, it doesn't think it's backwards. It's not gonna cut any differently. There's a lot of misconceptions about that. I've seen a lot of Cricut hacks that say to literally put like arrows here so you don't load it backwards, but there's really not a backwards way to load it. So, uh, I'm just gonna load this into our machine here. Loady load. And then once it's ready to go, I'm just gonna press that flash and click a button. Pretty, awesome, great. And while that is cutting, I can answer questions, I can talk to you guys. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I hope you enjoy these fonts. If you do enjoy these fonts and you want to become a member, please use the coupon code in the description below or Joseph can pop that in the um, comments. Use the code MAKE, M-A-K-E, at checkout for $20 off your membership, which is awesome. It's a Mother's Day sale, and since we weren't able to be with you this weekend, we wanted to extend that sale to give you all a little bit like last announcements for it, you know, and let you all be able to enjoy that. <sighs> but 
We're going to be getting in our little Cricut printable guide soon to set up our easy press. And um, PSA, if you want to really protect this guy, get you a terry cloth towel, a little piece of fabric, get one of those Teflon sheets. I was about to forget that name. Get a little Teflon sheet if you want, something to protect your shoes because sometimes we do um, burn this rubber right here. It doesn't happen very often, especially if you like know what you're doing. Um, but hey, not all of us know what we're doing sometimes, so just be careful with that. But our Cricut's already done cutting. It's super fast. Joseph, do you have any questions or anything though? Uh, Kathy said she made a full, full wheel search yesterday. That's awesome. I absolutely love working with the foil. It is beautiful. I love all the colors that you have and it just like pops. I absolutely love that. Great. I hope it turned out well. If you're a member, then please put that in the Facebook group and let us see that. Tag me in it if you'd like to, Rachel Langston. I would love to see those shirts. Uh, Can Candace asks, when I'm watching videos, I see some people using fast mode and some not. What's the difference? I've only had my cricket a week and I'm still learning. And that was who? Candace. Candace, that is a fantastic question. So uh, there's there's like two groups of people, okay? There's a group of people that love fast mode and use it on almost every project. And there is a group of people who do not like fast mode and just let the Cricut do its thing. Now you can decide for yourself by using fast mode on a project. This is an insanely great question though because you do have fast mode. It's step three right before you um, press that flashing Cricut button right after you select your material and it's there and if you would like to use it definitely use it i could have used it on this project today it is a simpler project but if you're using things like vellum like cardstock um if you're using any type of like delicate font or you're doing anything super small do not use fast mode so fast mode what fast mode does cricut designed it to be able to go um well faster duh of course it's fast <laughs> mode but I personally, this is a very personal opinion, you form your own opinion on it, try it on a couple of different things, maybe not things that costed a lot of money, maybe try it on some cardstock or some printer paper or things like that, but it just, it's a little bit rougher to me personally. I, like It don't cut as smooth. It, it, it cuts, but it's like on very light cardstock or vellum or things like that, it tends to drag. And like, you know, when the um, blade comes up and moves around and goes back down and cuts and comes up and moves, it's kind of like all fast. Like all of that is kind of accelerated. And it's actually really good if you are a lazy crafter and an impatient crafter because you don't want to wait that long for your projects. So turn that baby on, you know, give it a try, maybe on some vinyl or some iron on. But if you're working with a font that's a little bit, that's like, you know, a cursive or anything very delicate or intricate, do not use fast mode. I personally feel like if Cricut, if the Cricut maker was designed to go faster, they would have made it go faster no matter what cut you're doing. If does that make sense? Like I feel like fast mode would be the, just the standard mode if they wanted you to use it all the time. So I don't use it, very seldom do I use it if I'm in a big, big hurry or I know that I'm using something that I trust it with. It's not that I don't trust the machine, I just, I don't know. I could rant about that. Me and Tanner, <laughs> me and Tanner fought about that sometimes too. He's like, oh, hit that fast mode. And I'm like, no. And sometimes, sometimes he's been right, which it saved us time. And sometimes I've been right, which is it kind of ruined our project. So, you know, it really just depends on what project you're making and, and things like that. So feel it out. Definitely feel it out. But do we have any other questions? That was a great one though. I believe so. But congratulations on your Cricut, Candice. If you would love to join a membership of like-minded crafters like yourself and get awesome cut files and fonts to be able to use and master your machine, please join our membership for $20 off for our Mother's Day sale using the code MAKE at checkout, M-A-K-E. Or if you want to just like dip your toes in, we do have an amazing e-course dropping on June 7th. It is a Cricut Pro course. So it is like for the Maker Explorer, Air Explorer 2, I'm not sure which machine you have, Miss Candace. But if you want to master your machine, become a pro at it, know the ins and outs, it is a at your own pace e-course. It's amazing. It's, you know, just video by video, step by step. You can watch one four times before you move on to the second one. You know, it's, it's completely at your own pace. It, 
you know, how you learn, whatever. So definitely check that out. And that is the link below with the green hearts. Joseph can pop that in the comments if you all want to see that though and learn about that and get your little tickets for that. We also have some awesome summits coming up. We have a summer summit coming up. We have a fall summit coming up. Lots of summits happening and it's gonna be amazing. So the summer summit is gonna be really good at gearing you guys up for a home decor and making beautiful things for your home and for the summer and 4th of July and things like that. And our fall summit, guys, oh, our fall summit is going to gear you up for Christmas. Almost all things Christmas. We have got some awesome tutorials in that one. We've also got some that we have like tweaked from some lives in the past years and perfected. And we want to make them actual classes to show you guys how to absolutely perfect some things that we have been doing. So that's gonna be super fun. Just keep your eyes peeled. There's a lot of links in the description if you want to get on board with any of this. But um, if you haven't, go join our membership. And I'm gonna start weeding because I've been talking too much. Mm -hmm. I just know it. Uh, Patricia asks, Rachel, can you explain what the paper in cut files is used for? The, explain what our cut files are used for? What the paper in cut files is used for. Explain what the paper in, in cut files mm -hmm. is used for. Right. Okay. I, maybe you're talking about our patterns in the membership. Um, we have some really pretty patterns. The first thing that comes to mind is the home collection, the uh, pets collection. We have some really cute, like, it looks like paper, like a sheet of paper. So that is awesome for just printing. Print that out, print it on some printable vinyl. Um, make it into a card. If you print on cardstock, you can cut that cardstock into a card. It's super fun. You can make decor with it. So you can like print it out, put that behind a photo in a frame. It's really, really beautiful. If you have a too large photo and a too small or a too large frame and a too small photo, it's really pretty to go on the border, some of that pattern paper. If she does expound on that, what she meant, let me it. know. But I think that's what you're talking about, and those can be used for or, a ton of different things. Or maybe print, print and cut files or something like that. Maybe you were talking about PNGs or print and cut files. Those are amazing. We have so many uh, tutorials on the website. We have some here uh, on the channel. Go check those out. A, a ton of print and cut stuff. It is so easy to print and cut. I absolutely love print and cut. It's so easy. Literally, print it, cut it, peel it, stick it. Iron it on, done. It's so easy. I absolutely love it. Uh, Melanie asks, how do you remove the accessory where the pin and stylus goes in the Cricut Air 2? Okay, in the Cricut Air 2. Well, that will work just the same as this one. Um, on I camera. Think, I think it will. Actually, look, I have one right here. <laughs> Come here, Martha. Come here. Get Martha here. Okay, here's Martha. Oh, thanks, Martha. So, we're going to open her up. Thank you so much. Okay, so the pin attachment, right? Is what she's talking about? Yeah, where the um, pin and shower. Okay, place. so you pop this and then you push down, if I'm not mistaken. You push down. And then once you push down, it's like really, really loose. You just pull this, it's extended a little bit more than it should be. And then it opens up like that right there. And then she out. She gone. And that's about it. If you want to put her back in, Move you back just, some, see if we can get on the other camera. See if do move. what? See if I can get on the other camera? Yeah. Okay. okay. See if we can Let me put it back in first. Get a good angle for it. Right, right. Let me put it back in first. That might help us demonstrate. Oh! The new Guy says she'll, she'll put her um, full search on Facebook for you. Did you? Oh, thank you so much. Okay, switch it to this cam. And I'm actually, I'm, look, I'm going to do so much oh, for you guys. Look wow. at that angle. Oh, wow. man, yes. you should see what's going yes. on over here. Okay, so you just want to flip clamp A, okay? We're going to press this down, and you can see it came down here. Press that down, and you're going to, like, extendo this guy. Boom, boom, bam, boom. Open, out, done. To get it back in there, you do basically the same thing, just the opposite. You want to pop it in, okay? You're going to pop that like it's a, just, I just pop that with my thumb really hard. And then you just clamp that back in and look, you're, you're good to go. Take it out, take it in. Heck yeah, that's it. That's it, guys. I'm going to put Martha back, okay? Martha goes back. Bye-bye, Martha. Thank you so much for your time. Really enjoy you and Snoop Dogg. Okay, Joe, you might want to switch cameras because they're, they're seeing my, my Hans. Actually, we could have stayed there. You're probably being proactive because I'm, yeah, I'm waiting. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, see? But I, was, see? I was trying. Joseph, 
Josh's better at trying. my job than I am. But I just took the excess off because we're going to save this and put this back in our scrap bin because this is, this is plenty of scraps for another project because this doesn't use very much vinyl at all, thank goodness. Before I weed this, I want to give our baby Easy Press time to heat up, a little Stella. So let's get in our Cricut printable guide and see what temperature we need this bad boy on. So Joseph, I'm going to flip to this. Oh, I know then you'll be able to see it. Okay. What temperature do you think it's going to be set on for flip-flop? Oh, wait. This is not going to have flip-flops in the book. <laughs> I'm so dumb. This so, is not so, going to say flip-flops. Something to add later. That's true, something I had later. I know the temperature for this. I was just, I was like, easy press, here we gotta go through this. It's actually three for flip flops. Three, three for flip flops. It's a little, because th this cool. stuff will burn yeah, a little. Yeah, I cool it off a little. Yeah, I gotta burn cool it off just yeah. hair. But while we're here, I'll go through this guy for you, because believe it or not, I do not think flip flops are in here. <laughs> but this guy is awesome. It's like 20 full pages of crafting amazingness for your Cricut. It has terminology in here. It has blade charts that shows you which of your blades cut what material, which is so, so handy to have. It has which cutting mat you need. So it shows you which mat you need for which material, which you might think you're using the right mat and you might be using the wrong mat. So that's really good. So here we have these amazing easy press temperature charts. And this is like very um, broad. So it's not like, you know, um, I don't know, t shirts. T -shirts. Yeah, Flip -flops. it's not like t shirts, flip flops. Yeah, good joke. Exactly. It's a great example. Some to add later. Some to add later. That's yeah. for sure, Joe. Yeah. But it just kind of gives us a little rundown here. So, this is for all the different types of iron on you have. And then we have amazing cheat sheets for adhesive vinyl, iron on, and print and cut, along with some term glossary uh, pages because we all know that we forget these sometimes. Lawad knows I do. <laughs> But that's a fun little dude here. Uh, so Linda asks, when do you use the deep blade? The deep cut blade. So you use a deep cut blade on like really, really thick materials. So you cannot, I wouldn't use it on, you know, most materials. It'll tell you when you need the deep cut blade, if that makes sense. It will holler at you and be like, put in your deep cut blade. Um, if you guys want to know how to make a reusable stencil with your Cricut, I used the deep cut blade in that using some craft plastic that was a little bit thicker. It did it really well. So we just decided to uh, use our deep cut blade and it worked perfectly. So if you want to see, I don't know how to put in your deep cut blade or something like that, you can um, head over to the channel after this live stream and just, it's, I think it's how to make reusable stencils with your Cricut is the whole title. So you're welcome to go over there and see that. But our Easy Press is heating up. It's not even hot. It's so kids safe, guys. It's awesome. Um, and this is Stella. She's a baby. But Joseph, do we have any other questions? Um, Patricia said, which is the person who asked about the paper and cut files. Yes. She said, yes, that is, that's, that is what I was talking about. Oh. Is it like a wallpaper? Yes. Yeah, so you can make it. If, if you want to print that whole sheet out on removable vinyl or printable vinyl, do that girl, make that wallpaper if you want to. I bet that'd be beautiful. Do some backsplash in your bathroom, backsplash in your kitchen with that. I really, really love the like the paper that we have and it prints beautifully if you have a good printer with a good ink in it, you know, and it depends on the type of paper you use, but it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. But PSA, I said it like once, if you're using these guys, easy press, no hotter than 300 degrees, we don't want to burn our flip-flops, we don't want to burn our iron-on, and we're actually going to use a little sheet of uh, fabric. We do have some Teflon sheets around, so we're going to use those in the future, but I figure that a lot of crafters don't have a Teflon sheet, but they do have a, like a spare piece of fabric or a little washcloth towel, anything you've got. So we're actually going to finally weed this. I'm going to stop jabbering, if you guys believe that. But if I have any more questions, please let us know. I will. Um, again, guys, the membership is $20 off for uh, Mother's Day. Please go check that out. You just have to use the code M-A-K-E make at checkout. But Joseph, how are you doing today? Tell us tell us how you are. Joseph is also covered in paint I today. Am, I am. Yes. More than you. Oh, way more, more than, than me, yeah. yeah. I, I don't even really honestly we, know how I got paint on me. We have one viewer that said that she liked to paint on your hands. 
Oh, wow. Well, thanks. It, I guess it shows that I'm working and like my tan is off too. I'm, I'm, all, like, <laughs> I'm all like pale and painted on and it's a real mm -hmm. good look. But hey, working girls, that's just what happens. Oh, Wanda asks, on printable vinyl, what side goes it down on the printer? That is a great question. So it depends on your printer. So our printer that we have is the Canon TS8120. It's less than a hundred bucks. The ink's really cheap. We love to preach about that printer and we are not sponsored though, but hey, if you're watching this Canon, <laughs> we, <laughs> we would love a sponsorship or something. But, um, ah, so in ours, there is like a, a place where you can load it in the back tray, you know, like in the, with the paper all exposed and then there's underneath, you can like pull out a tray. So if that makes sense to you, the pull out tray in the bottom, you wanna do it with the backing face up, okay? So you wanna do it with the actual vinyl side face down, the backing face up if you're in that little tray underneath. But if you're in that like back tray where you just like set the paper delicately and it's like facing you, it's out, then just do that the normal way. So the way we think about it is at the bottom, it's going to feed your paper up and over, okay? It's going to go up and over and feed you out your paper. But if it goes from that back guy, it's just going to go like that. So we're going to do um, the actual vinyl facing me if I'm going to put it in the back tray like that. That way the printer just prints it and throws it out for me like that. But if it goes from the bottom, again, it goes like that. Did that make any sense, Joseph? How good was my gestures? I think they're, I did a pretty good job. Is, yeah, they're, they're good. They're good, good. Good, good. Good motions, good yeah, motions. Yeah, my little motions, like this is what the printer does. Right, <laughs> right. right. hey, I'm a, I'm a, oh, I got it, guys. Um, Tammy asks, if you were going to use a heat press, what temperature would I use? 300, oh wait, a heat press, not heat a press. heat press. Heat press. Can you, I don't know anything about a heat press, guys. If you, I mean the same temperature, if you can do temperatures, was she asking the temperature or like yeah. the setting? She says, what temperature would I use? 300, yeah. You could try 280 if you wanted to. I don't know if there is just a huge difference. Yeah, just yeah. to be safe, you know, it's better safe than sorry, uh, definitely. But, you know, feel free to, feel free to use whatever. I mean, I, I would say nothing hotter than 300. We have uh, a couple others asking what the printer was again we used. Uh, the Canon TS. 8120. Our members are usually super good about throwing that in the comments below. They have. Um, have they? <laughs> yes. And a lot of them don't even have the printer. They just remember us ranting about the name so much. So once you get these where you want them, be sure to keep them a little bit down because we don't want to burn our little, I don't know, our little thingies here, our little straps. So once you have them placed where you want them, I'm looking at the edges, trying to you know make sure that they're all lined up. You don't want to move these around too too much, but they're they're wanting to move around on me. Then you're gonna take your little fabric, this pitiful pa little fabric thingy. God love his heart. You know, lay this down. And while that is still laid down, I'm trying to make sure that these don't move anywhere. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my finger here. I'm gonna get my little easy press and lay it down. Trying to feel to make sure that I'm not gonna <laughs> burn my flip flop. Okay, and I'm just gonna hold it down. Okay, I'm gonna press the little cricket button. You can't even see it. I'm I'm gonna try move it up, moving it up here. Uh, Don asks, does Rachel or Tanner have any other card videos? Card mm -hmm. videos, we do. We have several card videos on the YouTube channel, and more are coming. We've got some really awesome. Um, cards coming up for summer and things like that. You guys will absolutely love those. Uh, Miss Crystal Thompson makes all of our cards and we absolutely love her and all of her skills that she has. So she will be making several cards for us and they are going out. Don't you guys even start to worry and fret about it. They're going to be coming out. So ta-da. Okay. <laughs> that was really satisfying. <laughs> but we can see, what can we see Joe? Can we, can we see him? Maybe not. Oh, oh yeah. Look, there you go. There you look go. at the bubbles, guys. Go. Bubbles are a really good sign. These look really good. Now, I do want to say, if you're doing this, if you're ironing this on, let these puppies cool, okay? You want to let these puppies cool before you start peeling this up. Instead of it being able to be a warm peel, like if it had attached to this right here, it would have literally like adhered and attached to the fibers in this. But since these little shoes here don't really have anything for the... uh 
vinyl, the actual heat transfer to stick to quite like it does fibers in a cloth or a t-shirt, then it needs to dry all the way before we peel it up. And that way it doesn't start to wrinkle with you because it doesn't really have anything um, to adhere too well on, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But um, Sonia asks, what's the difference between an iron on and an HTV? Absolutely nothing. Iron on is the name that a cricket brand has given its HTV. The, the broad realm of it is HTV. It all means heat transfer vinyl. So um, HTV just means heat transfer vinyl and iron on just means heat transfer vinyl. Iron on is just something that we've adopted saying so um, regularly because that's, that's literally what cricket calls its HTVs iron on. So it sounds a little confusing. We're trying to get better and call it just one thing. But HTV iron on, great question though. It is, it is the same thing. What do the bubbles mean? What do the bubbles represent? The bubbles mean it is adhered good. It's adhering. If you saw a lot of, of space without bubbles, you should be worried that maybe you need to hit that spot some more. But if you're seeing a lot of bubbles, it means that the HTV is sticking down to whatever you want to adhere it to, and it's coming up from the transfer tape. So if you can see those bubbles on the transfer tape, it means that you're doing your job right. So mm -hmm. that's why we love bubbles. But these guys aren't really warm anymore. So we're going to very slowly, and I'll come in a little bit more. Do -do -do. Okay. Uh, Sonia said, is one easier to read than the other? Um, I, I just got my Cricut for Christmas, and I, did, I just did one project. I'm a new. That is, listen, congrats. We absolutely love new people here. Um, let me peel these up, and then we will answer this awesome question. So that did great. Yeah, it did great. That did great. Let's do this side now. Also doing great. You see this, Joe? You getting this, Joe? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But there, guys, they look fantastic. Take us back out. Back out a little more. Oh, that's too much. There we go. <laughs> so this is how these they turned out. This is adorable. I love this. And look how cute. Just a little iron on. Little iron on, little hearts, monograms. <laughs> and to answer your question, I firmly believe that iron on is way easier to weed. Now, some people would fight me about it. Now, if you're a beginner, I would start out with vinyl. It, it, it's not that it's easier to work with, but the process itself is easier. It's like cut, weed, peel, stick. You know what I'm saying? And you do use transfer tape, but with this guy here, you have to mirror it. You have to, you know, switch up your settings a little bit. You have to adhere it with something, whether that be an easy press, a heat press iron, something. And sometimes that can get a little bit confusing. But if we're talking about just straight up the weeding process, just the weeding, iron on is a lot easier to weed because you don't have uh, pieces wanting to come up with it. You don't have pieces sticking to other pieces. Um, iron on to me is a lot easier to weed. And I, I feel like we would have some other people um, uh, saying the same thing. I feel like some other people would agree that um, iron on is easier to weed. I wish I would have made Joseph weed something when I made his shirts, but. I thought about it. Did you, did you think about it? But I, I think that but, Joseph. But there's a reason I didn't try. Oh, okay, well right. next time I'll know to make him try for real. For um, sure. Caitlin asks, can you use regular 651 on flip flops or would it mess it up? And then Peggy said, how would permanent vinyl work on flip flops? So the only thing about vinyl in general um, and about flip flops is that they're on your feet, okay? They get dirty, they get sandy, they get wet, they get, I don't know. It, it's just, they get, they're out in the elements. You're literally wearing them on your feet. So it's not like a cup that you can hand wash gently and then pat dry as soon as you're done washing it, you know? Now it, it might stick, it won't stick near as well as the iron on wheel uh, because you are wearing them. And as soon as that water gets under there, then you're kind of say bye bye to that vinyl. And the only difference between normal vinyl and permanent vinyl is the adhesive that they use, if that makes sense. So with flip flops, how they're squishy, you know, and cheaply made, and some of them have these little divots, these little dents in there. These little divots here, these little bumps, these little raises, give even more um, chance of water being able to get in under these little grooves and get into your uh, vinyl. So you can try it if you want to, especially if you know, you know you're only gonna wear them like one day here, one day there. Um, 
I don't know. But if you're planning on using these for the beach, I would definitely be careful because um, I don't, they, they don't hold up the best with vinyl. I, I don't think that I would try to use vinyl on these guys uh, just because I'd be afraid of water getting under there. Now, of course, th these guys, they start peeling up, okay? They start uh, coming off. No vinyl is, quote, actually permanent, but there are more permanent vinyls out there but we use iron-on for our flip-flops. And like I said, the flip-flops get um, old and uh, fall apart just about as soon as the iron-on does. So it's usually a like ritual thing. Like every spring I buy a couple, I do this to a couple, I wear a couple and then they break, I toss them. Like that's just what happens. But these use so, so little uh, iron-on that I, I feel justified doing it. You know, I only used a couple inches, if that, two and a half by 2.1 is what this used. So times that by two and that's what you got. So it's a very economical way to like spice up your wardrobe if you want to. Uh, I think these turned out super, super cute though. I love them and I love their little heart monogram as well. But if you guys want to check out the website, we're gonna go over that just a little bit for you guys. So. Over here is the awesome little website we've got going. If you want to do this coupon thing here, if this will let us, I don't know if it'll let us. We're going to apply the coupon make after you're at your checkout and then boom, it shows you your discount here. If you want to get that year membership, definitely go do that. That's a great way to see, um, see your little discount. You just add in your information, click that little discount done. But, here guys is what is happening with the membership okay here's what only yearly members get on top of everything else okay you get a ton of fonts we have almost 200 fonts you get a free commercial license so you can sell what you make and you get three free e-courses one all about cricut maker one all about design space and one on how to build a business through die cutting and that pairs extremely well with your free commercial license because with that e-course, you get the knowledge and the know-how on how to make money with your membership. And then boom, we give you that free commercial license and set you up with all of our awesome files and fonts. So you can just start creating, start making money. It's awesome. Here you can see some cute little um, files that we've got here. We've got some cute little print and cut files here. You can uh, look over some testimonials. You can see our membership options. Of course, the yearly is our, our best option for you guys in the... Um, it, like it saves you the most money which is cool you can see some project inspiration here to see some of the things you can do with the membership uh, things included at every level is awesome new files at least 30 files coming out every month guys um, you get a, that exclusive Facebook group some free online workshops some awesome project tutorials almost every single project we have if not every single one it's hard to say every project but almost every project we do live, we don't do live, that we just create with membership like these, like other things, will be made into full blog posts, full tutorials with steps and supplies and everything over on that site, which is a great, great perk for you all to be able to get inspired every single day. You get the Cricut printable guide at every membership tier, which is like me and Tanner plus smarter people in your back pocket. And you get that for your craft room, okay? It's amazing. And if you choose to cancel your membership, you do get to keep our printable guide forever, which is awesome. You can see some FAQs. You can see the membership's broken down in several ways. Um, and this right here is my favorite way it's broken down. You can see all of these little scissors that you get here. And you can see, like, you get more as you spend less. It, it, it's awesome, guys. I promise. So you go from $19.99 a month to $17.99 a month to $15.99 a month. And look at all you get. You get absolutely everything we have to give at the lowest price with our yearly membership. And that is on sale for $20 off right now. So Joseph's going to pop that link in the comments below. It's in the description with some um, little gift boxes for you guys. And if you're not sure, if you want to try before you buy, you can give us your email and we will send you an awesome cut file that you will absolutely love. But Joe... What's everybody saying? What have we got going on? We have a couple of just tuning in and saying they didn't get notifications. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry you didn't get notifications. Um, they're, that... they're, they're curious as to what we're doing. Oh, okay, that's a shame. Well, we're making these adorable little flip-flops. We have ironed on these flip-flops. We have used our baby easy press to iron on these bad boys. And boy, did they look cute. They look adorable. And if you want to see all the tips and tricks we used, you will have to 
rewind this, watch this a little bit later. But we ended up using one of the new fonts from Makers Gonna Learn to make these adorable little monogram flip flops. We used iron on for this, some little scrap pieces we had laying around. It's a super easy project. And Joseph, I wanna know from your point of view for mm -hmm. someone who doesn't really do this, mm -hmm. do you think that all this stuff seems doable? Totally. Yeah, mm -hmm. you think? Mm -hmm. Like I know that Joseph, Joseph, it's not like he's stupid. Like he knows what a cricket is. He knows what it can do. He, but as far as like going with the iron on with the vinyl, seeing what it can cut, seeing what it can be adhered on. I don't know. It's just, it's just, it, it, it's curious for me to know how you feel about everything, like the process and stuff. I can, I, I would fucking about making my shirts and I would be done. Would you? I'd be happy. Really? I need a lot. It's, it's all, it's all he needs. Yep. That's all he needs is some company shirts. shirts and <laughs> yep. That's it. And all we want to yeah. do is craft. So yeah. if you would like to craft, Join our membership. It is a great membership, guys. I absolutely love it. Uh, Candace asks, can you only get the commercial license with the yearly membership? Yes. So that is one of the perks because if you guys want to be a yearly membership, pour into us for a whole year. Give us that lump sum and you want a membership for 365 days. Then we decide to give back to you and honor you guys and reward you guys for being able to pour into us for that long amount of time. And that is why we offer only... Uh, our yearly members, the fonts and the free commercial license. So it's it's a big jump, okay? You guys get a lot of perks being in the membership at any tier, but our yearly members pay the least amount of money and they get the most amount of our resources. It is absolutely worth it. And if you're thinking of it as like a budget standpoint, you will end up spending $48 more at the end of the year from being a monthly member to being a yearly member. So you're literally paying more money, but you think that you're getting a better deal. And if if it's one of those things where you don't have that lump sum right now, save up for it, guys. We've had so many people that are saving up for that yearly membership. We ha we've had a several, several members that haven't even had their machine yet. It's been ordered, it's on its way, and they've already gotten a membership and looked around the website, looked around the, um, the membership site and really saw what there was to to get and saw what there was to learn and by the time their cricket was here or their machine was here they were ready to get crafting they were ready to go it is a beautiful membership it's been so well taken care of and it's flourished so much things are added every month and the facebook group is amazing we have so many people saying that they would join just for our facebook group which is so mm -hmm. awesome and we have almost three thousand like-minded crafters in the Facebook group that are active in the membership that are just enjoying their die cutting machine and our yearly members, some of them are actually making money with their Cricut. They are using their machine to build their business, their own business using our cut files and fonts, making profit and it's awesome guys to be able to craft for a living. And if that's something that you guys are interested in, it's 20% off or $20 off, excuse me, still for the Mother's Day. So use code MAKE, M-A-K-E at checkout for that discount, but if you're gonna be a yearly member, you're already getting the best discount around. We're just giving you $20 off on top of that, which is really, really cool. But those of you who have any questions. Um, Irene said, I finally figured out how to use my Cricut Air 2 I got for my birthday. I was overwhelmed at first, but these type of videos have helped me learn. I'm still very new at it, and I'm interested in the membership. Oh my gosh, yes. Well, listen, the, the membership's perfect for newbies. I'm so glad that you commented, congratulations. I hope that you are enjoying your cricket. I hope that you are really getting to know it and having fun with it. And yes, please, if you would love to join our membership, we have so many things that are absolutely perfect for, for die cutting machines, for die cutting lovers and things like that. It's perfect for um, newbies, excuse me. And it's also perfect for experienced crafters because I like to say that, yeah, we have a thousand cut files and almost 200 fonts, but it doesn't matter what level of like how what level of knowledge you have about your machine about its software you can use the same file to make a t-shirt that you can do to make a card that you can to make you know to contour something out add a font to it to make you know a super custom personalized uh, wall art piece i mean it's really customized to you they are broken down. All of our cut files are super simple to use. It's up to you and how much that you know about your machine, your software, where you can take that and either leave it simple 
or you can get in there, you can contour things out, you can slice things out, you can use the PNGs, you can add in fonts. So it just depends on you and your pace. So as you go and you start getting comfortable with using the cut piles as they are, you can go in there and make it more complicated, make it more personal, make it more fun. Use their dingbats to add in things to their fonts and make your own cut files. It's just so awesome for beginners as well as experienced crafters because an experienced crafter could swoop in here, get the same membership that a beginner does and be doing things 10 times harder than what the beginner's doing but with the same cut files and at, you know, at their own speed. So it's really, really good for all different types of die cutting crafters, no matter you know, if you're a beginner or you've literally had a machine for like 20 years, it's just however you want to do it, which is awesome. But Joseph, anything else? Um, Don says, when I try to click on the link for the Fall Summit, the page says can't be found. What, what do I need to do? And then um, Shelby says, She's having the same issue as well. Same issue. Okay. Well, guys, I do apologize for that. And both of them have email support. So. You already, when did you email support? I'm not sure when. Oh, well, definitely give customer support 24 hours to email you back. I'm so sorry about that. The link might be broken. I'll fix that and have a new link for you guys tomorrow. I am so sorry about that. But yes, email customer support if you haven't. If you're a member, there's a contact us page or you can email us at hi at makersgonnalearn.com. That's just H-I like you're waving. Hi at makersgonnalearn.com. And that, that will get you answered, guys. We got customer support working almost constantly. So we'll definitely get that answered, get you the link that you need. We, we, we do apologize for that. It might be my fault. I might have added in a broken link there. <laughs> I'm not too tech savvy. Joseph definitely is tech savvy. But guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I've loved ironing on these little flip flops for you. I think they turned out so cute. And it doesn't matter what monogram you have, guys. These, this is going to be adorable. And if you find one, you have it in design space, and maybe your sister's monogram works, but yours just doesn't look quite right, get that scalloped monogram. You know, get that beautiful scalloped monogram. Use that instead of this heart monogram. Um, it's just whatever you want. But again, to have the fonts and the um, free commercial license, which means you can take these and sell these, you would have to be a yearly member. So if you want to do that, again, guys, it is $20 off using the code MAKE, M-A-K-E, at checkout. But uh, we're going to go. I've still got some stuff to do. Mm -hmm. I've got some stuff to clean over at the new house. Joseph has another business to run. Mm -hmm. He's got to go. He's got to make some money. He's got to go. So... We are going to head out of here and just get working, but I hope you guys have a fantastic day. If you need me for anything, leave us comments below, email us, and we will get back to you. Joe, do you have anything else? I so. No? Well, so. Joe's going to go work. Or I'm slave go away. Work. We'll, we'll go slave away, guys, but I hope <laughs> you've enjoyed this video. We will see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.